What's good y'all? This is your boy Tony Sway here. And I want to talk to you guys about something very important today. The title of this video is the top secrets of the new music industry. So in this video I want to go over all the secrets I've learned in the last 10 years putting my music out independently and I want to help you guys apply these same techniques to achieve your own success whether you be a, a songwriter, a singer, a producer, or all of the above or maybe you're just a manager trying to push one of your artists so I want to start with the basics first this is going to be real quick y'all just just a run, a run through of everything I've learned as quick as possible so number one it's always going to be the music you need to make sure that your music is solid you need to spend day and night every day working and crafting your material to be the best you want to be the best I cannot sugar code this to you and you got to be the best in your niche you don't necessarily have to be like the next man but you want to be the best version of yourself you can be with your music so you want to you want to decide what kind of fans you want to reach and you want to deliver the best musical content you can with that specific demographic like for me for instance I really love R&B music I'm, I love it from the bottom of my soul specifically the 80s 90s early 2000s I love it and I even really love a lot of the new stuff coming out um, as well I just admire music but I also have a big love for a little bit of you know jazz uh, actually a lot of jazz a little bit of you know old school rock music I have eclectic taste and um, I try to put all those influences oh yeah can't forget hip-hop uh, but I put all those influences in my music but the most dominant influence is definitely R&B and specifically 90s so that I for me I picked that as my niche and this brings me back to the point focus on your music decide what your niche is gonna be are you gonna be making R&B are you gonna do like 90s flavored like me or are you gonna be like a Tupac type of rapper uh, conscious rapper like Kendrick Lamar or do you want to do more of um, you know kind of like the bubblegum rap um, like like little Lee Yahtzee I hope I'm saying his name right and, and people like that these people are basically masters at their niche whether you like whether you like them or not obviously my favorite rappers are people like Tupac um, Snoop Dogg DJ Quick those are my icons as far as hip-hop but I'm just using those people as an example you got to decide what your niche is musically and, and just deliver the best you can possibly draw from all your inspirations all your influences and create the best possible music you can now so now that we got that out of the way that's one of the most simple secrets in the industry is really making your music the best in that specific demographic catering to your demographic now we're gonna move on to the next topic in this day and age of social media marketing image plays one of the biggest if not hand in hand with your music just think about all your favorite rappers over the years all the people all your favorite singers over the years I bet you they had a pretty dope image if you think about the legendary Tupac I mean he had the bandana the Tim's you know the leather vest like his style stood out right and you or think about R&B singers like Aaliyah like she you know she had you know the hair over one eye you know um, she was rocking all kinds of leather outfits and you know they had a very distinct style that a lot of art artists to this day copy you know what I mean and for me I look up to people like the Jodeci's, the Albie Shures, um, you know, people like that, Genuine, all those people influence me musically but also style-wise and I take beats and bits and pieces from from everything that my my heroes, my influences did and I use it in my music to create something, you know, for people to listen to and to look at and you need to do the same thing you need, you need to do, you need to look at all your influences and try to create something original from that 
and that, cause that's what really everybody does. Everybody, nobody is a hundred percent original. Everybody is always influenced by somebody. Even people, some of the biggest legends will tell you who their influences are and they go back and it continues to go back. You have to be inspired by something, even if it's not somebody famous. It could be something your your parents or something. We're always looking. We always have to have heroes. So that covers that. You basically need to get the right image, and you need to project that image on your YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and you really you really need to let the people, your fans, see what you're all about, style wise, and you need to put that together with your music create creatively. And I'm telling you, it's it's gonna do numbers. And um, the third, if not, all these are very important. I was going to say the most important, but I think all these aspects are important. Once you have your music together, your style down packed, you need to work. You need to start putting stuff out. You don't want to sit and have the analysis of paralysis and not put anything out. Don't be so scared of what people, people are always going to judge you. It's going to happen. People troll me all the time, but at the end of the day, I got all kinds of people buying my beats my youtube videos are getting millions and millions of hits i just surpassed 41 million views i mean things are moving up i'm doing better than i ever did you know so let people hate if they want but as long as you're catering to your demographic and the people that love you who cares keep doing you and at the end of the day do it for yourself because at the end of the day you got to be happy too so Make sure you put your music out on the YouTubes. Make sure you put your music out on the SoundCloud type sites. Make sure you put your music out on, upload it to iTunes through sites like TuneCore. Promote it, put it out. Um, make it easy for people to discover it. And don't just stop, don't, don't, don't cry because you uploaded a couple songs and only got 10 views. You need to keep pushing. You need to put your music out. You need to keep working, you need to keep grinding because you know, if you really are serious about your music, the top is only reserved for the best people. The people who, who become the best at what they do, they will get recognized. It's guaranteed. You think Michael Jackson would have just not got recognized with that talent? People like that, you know, Tupac, you think those people would have gone, un, gone unnoticed? No, those people became the best at what they did. And if you're serious about your music and you love it, you need to become the best at what you do in your niche. And these are the top secrets of the new music industry. It's very simple. It's very simple. Focus on making the best music for your niche of what you want to do. Make sure your, your image is down packed. Make sure you come up with really a dope image that ignites people's imaginations and, and, and it goes together with your music. And make sure you put it out. Don't sit on your music. Make sure you put it out. Make sure you put it on all the big sites, like I mentioned before, and make sure you continue to do that and don't stop. I can tell you, I can tell you countless success stories of people in the last 10 years who've done exactly that and they've blown up. You know, I got names. For, I mean, even people like Bryson Tiller, he's one of the new R&B cats, is doing it, and you know, he put his music on SoundCloud. Guess what? Like his album blows up, number one R&B album. Like, you know, there's so many people. That you know, even that for me, that's how I got my success. That's how I've met my contacts in the industry. Is just consistently putting stuff out, and that's it. Stay consistent with what you're doing. Once you accomplish those three steps, you need to just stay consistent. After that, maybe tweak things here and there. Maybe you need to tweak tweak your image here and there. Maybe you know, maybe you need to tweak your songs here and there. Maybe you need to come up with new promotional ideas here and there. Be innovative, but and and just be consistent with it. This is just some motivation for you guys make sure you continue to follow your dreams because guess what you know at the end of the day everybody has the time to go and I don't mean to take anybody off track here and make you think anything negative but it's true I, I know so many people through my life that took so many dreams to the grave you know what I mean beyond talented and they just didn't they didn't stay consistent with their talent they didn't keep delivering they didn't keep trying eventually they gave up and it's very sad it's very sad and I'd hate to see you as one of those people so you keep pushing you keep moving uh, I love y'all and God bless it's your boy T-Sway peace